Blood Goobit did the most damage. Blood Goobit, 48 damage crit. <laughs> yeah! It's happening! <laughs> no more Rainbow Goob, it's too stressful. It is very stressful. <laughs> Rainbow Goob is very stressful. I think now we'll get to enjoy the rest of the patch changes without the pressure of going to Goobs. Although, I do like Carrot Goobs, and I can totally see just rolling Carrot Goobs on regular Ranger builds. Carrot Goobs legit. Cleanse. Decent in power scaling. Doesn't have to, you don't, it doesn't have any awkward positioning you have to deal with. Alright, let's do a normal ranger run on the new patch. We can take advantage of the rainbow goobit. Uh, sorry, no, not the rainbow goobit, no! I'm free of it! <laughs> the carrot goobit. <laughs> the carrot goobit. Without all the difficulty and suffering that leads to the rainbow goobit. We got uh, interesting changes to blind. Lightsaber's not going to be quite as dominant. It's going to be a bit more normal now. Pocket sand options. I think you're still going like Sword, Whetstone early games though. Nothing's really changed too much about that. Your opponents have a little bit of extra things to mess with it. Like cheap pocket sand, like early pocket sand for example. Hammer is a bit weak. Oh, it's okay. I wasn't really doing too much Hammer Ranger anyway. Um, What do we got? Hmm. Bow and Arrow. The biggest change actually is the Bow and Arrow change, I think. Bow and Arrow going to st use Stamina is a uh, big nerf for still goob at arrow spam, bow spam. Yeah, regen... I wonder if regen vampirism maybe is a lot nicer now with the change to the healing herbs. I prefer vampirism a bit more on the reaper, but this might give a bit more validity on the ranger too. Yeah, vampirism is a little bit fragile to garlic, early garlic spam. It tends to outstrip that later on, usually. Okay, what do we got here? We have a South Price Pocket Sand we're obviously going to take. That's not bad. We got a wooden sword and a round one bag we can take. Or we can ignore that and roll for a whetstone. Hmm. There's no pan here. I would have, wouldn't have minded going a pan opening. It transitions nicely into any sort of like regen nature stuff. Um... Roll twice for whetstone. I think that's probably better than getting the bag. There's the pan, but I've already purchased the sword. There's the whetstone. Yeah, the two rolls is basically a guaranteed whetstone. Get some healing herbs there. Alright, so this is pretty standard, but basically sand instead of a rock. Um, which is not that much help here, but we win this anyway. Pretty comfortably. Big old 8 damage bonk at the end there. Hmm, okie dokie. It's probably worth taking the fanny pack here and re-rolling for a whetstone. <laughs> Hello, little goobit. There's a carrot and a cheap garlic. I could go for those instead, possibly. Can't really fit them both. Unless I drop the sand and the, uh... There's more sand, there's more sand. I think I'll take those. I wonder if I want to reserve this and try and make a carrot goo, but it's either carrot or steel. It kind of gets us set up, but the question is, do I want to reserve and buy it though? Or just get one a little bit later? We'll try it out. It's a little bit forcing it, maybe. I think maybe it's better just to let it happen a little bit later. But we're halfway to carrot goober and we're halfway to steel goober. I might favor the carrot goober if I have the choice. Yeah, that's a bit, oof. It was actually surprisingly close, thanks to our extra food, but the two whetstones are just too good. Well, oh, there's our whetstone. This is a little bit awkward, though. <laughs> so this is the problem now. I basically have to reserve it for an extra round. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much have to reserve it for an extra round. Mm-hmm. <laughs> a little bit awkward. Pretty cringe, really. Hey, you get in there. Alright, at least we fit everything. Hmm, sadly we have one more chance to take a healing herb. Our attention is being competed for a little bit here. We've had the one loss, so it's not a super great start. We look like we'll be okay here, maybe? I don't know, it's a bit close. Oh, 10 damage crit helps. Oh, and an 8 damage crit. Back-to-back -back crits on 5%, it's pretty lucky. Still, their healing is pretty good. Damn. Yeah, too much food. Yeah, died to fatigue. Yeah. Alright, there's that sorted out. Now we can get our goobit. Do we make the steel goobit though? Hmm. 
get the blueberry for activations. Yeah, I kind of wish this was a, pa a pan start instead of the steel sword. Now uh, that kind of needs to be there, actually. Do I let the goobit combine, or do we try and make a carrot goobit just to force it? We don't have another weapon to benefit from the goobit anyway, so... Well, we got the wooden sword, but... Maybe we'll, uh... Yeah, maybe we'll not combine and still have the chance of going for the carrot goobit instead. What do we got here? Oh, it's not a super strong looking board. A little bit poisonous. You do have a carrot to help with that. I think we'll be okay. I should have put the sword down here. It's a better activator than the carrot. That should have been swapped around. Would've been a bit more healing, but I think we got this anyway. You can do it! You can do it! Yeah, that poison ramped a little bit there, but... Oof, yeah, we got there. Nice. What can we do with this run, huh? Let's put you around here. We might make this a little bit stronger. Um... Hey, that's still... Yeah, that's fine. Give me another carrot. Come on. Give me another carrot. Blood amulet. Hmm. Snail prize blood amulet. Crit blood goobit I could try. <laughs> Do a crit blood goobit build? That's silly. That's just silly. That's just silly. And yet... That's a terrible idea. And yet... Such a bad idea. Unless... <laughs> Still 10 plus your vent prisms in life? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And that, that can crit. That can crit. Unless... <laughs> I'm doing it. <laughs> I'm doing it. Let's go. Still... No, no. Not still goobit. Blood goobit. Alright. We're pivoting our build in a terrible direction. <laughs> We're going, we're going, we're going Crip Blood Goobit. We're going to make it happen. Hmm. I'd be surprised if we loot, if we win to this, but we actually seem to be out healing them, surprisingly. That's not having any much in the way of armor helps. Spear's not really doing too much. This is destined for disappointment, but uh, there is also the tiniest, slimmest hope of brilliance of some sort of magic occurring. Um, <laughs> so, we want Lucky Clovers to scale the crit on the Blood Goob. For now, the uh, swords are just fine activators. Um, it could be worth pushing for Vampiric Armor, though the gloves are maybe a little better. Yeah, the gloves are better for the Vampirism stacks. Six Vampirism is a lot of extra damage on Blood Goobit. The uh, daggers also do pretty well too. <laughs> you need some armor? Potentially, yeah. If we take this, we can sell that and buy a bag. We'd have to maybe drop a web drop some food though. We'll try and make that up. Oh, sell price bag. Never punished. <laughs> Never punished. <laughs> Uh, I kind of want slash need that, but maybe it's okay to not run it for a round. Hungry Blade? Yeah, I'll reserve that sucker. I mean, can I just buy it now? I can't really fit it. He can't keep getting away with it. <laughs> Sell for two. That gives me to three. I can, I can buy it, but I can't really fit it. How do I fit it? I have to like move. Yeah, I can actually fit this. I have to do a bit of shenanigans though, I guess. Oop, not on you. Get in here. Can't fit the bloob now or this is extra luck. So I don't have any luck crit scaling. Um, it's, it's a toss up between the leather armor and these. I think the leather armor is a little stronger. We will probably want the extra food. We're going to want the mana. They're really good for activating the, um, the mana leaf. That's uh, two rounds. I think this has potential. Three vampirism. Thirteen steel. Don't have any crit scaling at the moment. Looking pretty good. 
Water 10 on there, plus this is basically similar DPS. I actually wonder which one ends up being better. They're pretty even. <laughs> They're pretty even <laughs> amounts of damage. Uh, Blood Goober actually came out ahead. Yeah, activate it. It's probably activating a little bit faster. <laughs> we got a. This is a. This is a build. <laughs> this is a build. Uh, we'll definitely want the gloves. Uh, either I can get two pairs of gloves and make the uh, Falcon Blade to make the sword even faster, and really good for blood goob activations. Or I can just use them to speed up this and make some vampiric gloves. Uh, we need bag space. I need bag space desperately. Might be worth dropping a garlic. I'm just going two bloobs here for now. Um, gem chest would be nice, but not strictly necessary. Nicely, I need the bag space. This is a little hard to use right now, though. Like, if I put this here, I can swap the weapons around and then put the gloves on the sword. Yeah, I think we'll just do that. <laughs> Um, I could make a blueberry a bit faster here, but it's kind of actually, this, oh, it's the same here anyway, it's 20%. I'll just put these here for now then. That gets us 10% crit. Then the uh, blueberries will eventually scale it up if the match goes on long enough. Healing's looking good. Yeah, healing's looking pretty good. I've got 21 poison and we're still kind of hanging in there. <laughs> that poison's ripped pretty- oh! That oh, got me right at the end there. <laughs> Bang. Let me have a look at the uh, the stats though. Hungry Blade 91 a bit better now with the gloves. Blood Goob at 66. Arrow Sword actually still doing a decent chunk of damage. <laughs> Can we actually make this into a thing? So take our Life Blinder, it gives us the regen that gets converted into uh, Hungry Blade. It gives us starting mana, which gives us luck scaling faster with blueberries. And, uh, and then we'll also, um, later potentially might be able to do some healing cleansing with it, but mostly it's just for the starting, the starting burst of regen and whatnot. I do like stone skin potions here when we have a leather armor to start with. On vampirism builds, that armor's pretty, quite good. We need bag space though. Ooh, and there's also this. I think I'd have to get that next round though. I don't think I can get that now. I really need to put this is not really very good. Wow, well, is the best I can do two? Because that's really awful. <laughs> I think oh, I can do this. That's substantially better. Okay, four at least is a bit better. That's still pretty rough, but there's not too much we can do about that. No, I don't think I'm going to go Bloodthorn here. Oh, you could go Bloodthorn, but it does scale better than Hungry Blade. That's a whole other combine. Uh... Hmm, maybe. Maybe it's worth doing. Yeah, it just, it does scale a lot better, doesn't it? It's an awkward thing to pull off the combine here. I'll need more space and everything. it will slow down getting the blood amulet for the gloves too. Hungry, Hungry Blade falls off big time in a couple rounds. Try blood gloves instead of blood armor. Blood gloves gives a lot more uh, vampirism stacks. Six vampirism compared to two. This does give more ongoing defense, but this gives a lot more offense, both in the flat damage and the trigger faster on the weapon. I think the gloves are just more powerful in most cases. If we're critting goob, won't that be good? Ah, uh, next attack with bow and arrow hits ties weapon crits. I don't know if blood goob it counts as a weapon though, right? I don't think it does. The game needs a bit more tagging, I think. Like, there should be a weapon tag somewhere written on the item. Thought this round was about scaling goob. Yeah, well, that's why getting the vampirism's even better for the blood goob. So the uh, gloves are a bit better for that. This thing converts regen into vampirism. Doing it quickly is good for blood goob. Blood goob, it's still only going to be half of the uh, equation, but um, it'll be a significant half. Oh, yeah, we probably should try and go for the thorn whip. It's going to be a little difficult to pull off. I've only got two tries left. <laughs> it's getting a little bit iffy here. Image looking decent at the start there. Blood Goobit, hopefully getting some crits off his little 10% crit rate. The crit lifesteal is pretty juicy. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, making me a bit nervous there. Come on, we can't afford any more losses. Um, there is the question about which do we try and do first. 
This is certainly a lot easier to fit and maybe pretty strong right now and then that can be the next round. Isn't Bloodthorn more stamina hungry? That is true, we'd probably have to drop the Hero Sword. Stamina costs 1.5 compared to 0.6. So all of a sudden you have to drop the Hero Sword and even then we're running out of stamina. I think we need the gloves first, I'm gonna need space. Blood for the blood goob, we need back space. Oh shit, why are you gonna do this to me? Oh, do we drop the potion for a round then? I'm almost tempted to sell the hero sword. It gets us to being able to use this a bit sooner. I could unsell the potion, but I don't think so. Whack this here for now. Make our vampiric gloves. We can get healing herbs, probably decently worth. Um, I feel like I need to do this. Oh, the, the bloody thing. <laughs> this bloody thing. Come down here, you. Ah, shit. Put that. Oh, it needs to stay there. A bit awkward. Yeah, no, we'll just do this for now. Not you. Vampire gloves, please. Five remaining, get our healing herbs. Um, I would love to get more activations on the Yggdrasil, but we got at least one more there. It's not really on there. Blueberry to activate, you have two. Yeah, that would probably be better here. I can put the banana on here to speed those up. This is suboptimal, but we're not using that space there. And I'll have to do for now, I think. Just chuck the rock in there for a round. Oh, all right. Come up against Steel Goom with bow, but now the go now the bows cost stamina though. Only 0.3 per second, but still the fact that cost stamina is uh, a pretty big change. Still we're gonna be pretty good with the steel goobs, I suspect though. This board looks okay. They got the they got the single stone steel goobit. <laughs> the ramping stone there, looking pretty good. 12 vampirism stacks though, no garlic on our opponent's board, gives us a ton of leech and gigantic blood goob goobit crits potentially. I want to see if we got any. We've got 40% crit chance there at the end. Um, let's see, hungry blade crit, 22 damage blood goobit. Is that a crit? No, that's just straight up because of the vampirism. 22, so we do like a 44 crit if we did manage. Bow and arrow, where's theirs? Hungry blade 30. No, I don't think we managed to get any Goobit crits yet. We've got a few weapon crits though. It's happening. It's kind of, it's kind of happening. <laughs> and we just, we have a lot more vampirism now. <laughs> That's a lot more vampirism. Yeah, the Goobit can crit. You put it in the ranger bag and it can crit. You just need, uh, you just need lock scaling, which we're getting from some clovers and blueberries and starting mana from this. So we kind of need to make this ha exchange happen. We've already sold the hero sword, so the stamina concern is not as big anymore. I wonder if Ziggy will run into his own rainbow alpha. <laughs> Surely you can't fight against yourself. <laughs> I never even thought about that. Surely you can't do that though. The second pair of gloves is tempting, but I think we need to get the thorn whip in space. <laughs> How do I fit this? I want it to be on the activations, but maybe it's better to not have it activating. I'll just put it over here or something. Awkward. Awkward. I don't like basically f almost throwing around here. It's very uncomfortable. Armor out this round. Man, that's pretty brutal. We can do, uh... <laughs> we can do this. <laughs> that's in the ranger bag as well for my bit of thorns gain potentially. Yeah, we have to just sit that out for a round it looks like. I can get rid of the rock. There's a second stone skin though. Two stone skins is, is very good. I don't know what I would sell to get it though. We need the banana. Would I want to drop three coins from the leather armor? Oh, we won't proc it now this round. <laughs> yeah, we won't proc it this round, will we? Oh man, that's awkward. Got some extra nature at least for taking out the armor. Yeah, small consolation. You can fit the chest if you buy the single. All right, maybe I'll try and do that then. Oh, here, I see. We kind of have to have the banana though. So I'm thinking the banana has to go here. Carrot there, and that one there. Can't fit this. Yeah, the potion has to sit out for a round. 
I could try and get that for next round. The two, the stone skin potions are really good with vampirism. They effectively double their effectiveness as long as you're healing fast enough. Potion for the stone. Oh yeah, maybe could have dropped the stone there. True. Yeah, I could have moved this and put the potion down there. Ah, that would have been way better. We'll see if it loses us. If we lose the match by like 30 hit points, we'll know the potion could have saved us. Oh, but that's not happening though. That's not happening because we are too strong, mate. We are too strong. Let's have a look. Blood Goobit did the most damage. Blood Goobit, 48 damage crit. <laughs> yeah! It's happening! <laughs> yeah! 48 damage. That's 48 health stolen. Heal 48, deal 48. Love it. <laughs> Love it. Oh. There's the combine. We got through the very awkward match without dying, actually. is honestly impressive. We get through that awkward match without dying. There's something else. Um, we can put this here. Or maybe I'll do the banana here because they benefit from, from the gloves and that helps offset the high stamina cost. Well, it's actually, they're only 0 0.9 actually. It's not that, not that bad. I read it as 1.5 earlier. It's 1.5 cost, but only 0 0.9 per second. Not nearly as bad as I had mistook it to be. Um, we still need an activator here though, which is going to be this. Put that there. And we just do the... Ugh. You really want this over here, don't you? <laughs> uh, I do really want that in the potion belt. I might have to get another bag to make that happen though. Shield is pretty big, but fitting it right now is just a non-starter. If I get a bag space here, that couldn't help. Oh, Acorn color. Items gain. See, it says items, not weapons. I'm pretty sure it actually works for the Goobit. So I really want that. Um, where I put it though is a question. We can also make the vampiric armor if I sell the rock too. It might be better to reserve the Acorn and make the vampiric armor this round. Yeah. Vampiric armor makes our healing way more efficient because if we're sitting at max health, we're wasting healing. We're effectively, you know, wasting that health gain. But if we're converting it into armor, we're not wasting it. It's like an overheal. Hey, this is a build. <laughs> it's actually a build. <laughs> what? Oh, oh my god. Actually a build. Actually a build. Who did more damage this time? Bloodthorn. Oh yeah, Blood Goober did Halini this time around. The uh, Blood Thorn just rained down too many crits too quickly. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Uh, there's another starting, two starting vampirism and then the conversions. Pretty big deal. We're going to get the stamina sack so that I can put the acorn down here, I think. We need that bag space. Get that crit going. That's going to make our crit a lot more critty. <laughs> if I... Yeah, I might be able, I can free the potion belt. And that frees me to move the blueberry. Well, I need the activator still. Mm. But I can put these here now. So I can put more nature stuff there there soon, maybe. Don't have anything right now, I don't believe. Oh wait, I have this. That's not be there we go. That's another one. Healing herb, yeah. So that's four, five, six, seven. Oh, and this. Whoops. Sword back up. Whoop. I think sword back up does it, doesn't it? Pretty sure it does actually. I guess both of those. We can put the blueberry back here. Get a healing herb there. Great. Yeah, I just had to flip the sword around. The sword has been solved. Anything anything missing? No, we look good. We look good. We got a pretty decent looking thorn whip set up here. I don't know exactly what they're using Yggdrasil for. It looks like they were maybe planning on going more a mana oriented build, slash maybe a Bloodthorn, but they don't have them found the Vampiric Sword yet. So we should be a bit more co- uh, I think our build is a bit more cohesive than theirs. They do have a fair amount of thorns, but we easily aren't heal that. Look, our health is basically staying at full, and the armor is just- the overheal is just getting converted into armor effectively. Oh my god, it's beautiful. It's a thing of beauty. <laughs> I love it. New favorite build, maybe? <laughs> Bloodthorn, 33. Regenerating, 26. 26 damage from the Blood Goobits. So that's every, whenever you see the he damage here, that's healing. 73 healings, pretty potent. Pretty, th pretty thick healing. Hmm, 
well, I could certainly get the extra space here, and we kind of need it. This does make things a bit more flexible. We don't really need the extra banana. Um, gems would be only okay. I can't remember how many sockets this has. I feel like it's two. It's not strictly necessary. The the red red gems in the uh, chest would be pretty good. Yeah, it is two sockets. Nice. Um, lamp. I don't really want to trade away my luck and that. Yeah, no, I don't think I'd want to go lamp. You can't gem goob. Gems will fill up bag space. I can fill up bag space. And you mean in a positive way? Flight? The gems might be worth going here. We feel pretty stable, so the gem, the gems should be worth the, like, the risk. We're about to go into survival, I think, with decent level of comfort. Just go for buff removal here. The heroic potion giving vampirism is kind of attractive. It's all regen, which turns into vampirism. Um, it's only one though. But I mean, it could be a several over the course of a couple activations if I like put it in here, like so. And if you tap your stamina, well, we can just trigger it off the uh, stone skin potion and the belts. So we maybe get two or three triggers potentially without ever actually activating it. Which you're right, we wouldn't end up activating it. Yeah. For six gold, maybe it's not worth it. I'd probably buy it on sale. Uh, I think we leave it here and reroll. Well, not reroll, start next match. Hopefully going to survival here without a loss. Uh, this is decent, decent though. Let's see how we go. That healing is just so, so glorious, my lord. Like, they're doing a ton of damage though. Ooh, hoo -hoo. oh, oh my god. Oh, are you serious? <gasps> no way. No way. Oh, don't tell me we lose this run here. Oh no, I don't like this. This is very scary. <laughs> this is very scary. I should have looked at my crit in the last round, actually. I want to see how much the extra acorn color would be worth. I think it is. I think the extra acorn's pretty worth. I can almost afford the book, too. If I sell, we've got a red gem, which is actually quite good here, though. You had seven luck? Yeah. And you can spin the leaf. Yeah, that means we can do this. And I can even get this instead of the book. The book's okay here. Blind um, hurts a little bit. And we can spend that mana to become invulnerable and that cleanses as well. The book's actually really quite good here, isn't it? It does slow down our luck scaling once that triggers, though. Yeah, because we get to 10 mana and then it consumes the mana and we don't... Um, then we don't produce luck. So the Book of Light does slow down our crit scaling quite significantly. But it does save us from dying to bursts. Like, in theory, we make back up most of that mana over the course of two seconds, although with only two blueberries. We get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana there. So we trigger that almost right away. The book is a good goob at triggerer, but we want nature things in those slots currently. That's only marginally better. Well, it's not even better on the blueberry, really. With the, with the 10%. Buy the bag and reserve it for next round? Maybe. Although, <laughs> there might not be a next round if this doesn't go well. <laughs> what else could you roll for? Well, it'd be more just getting the extra um, Yggdrasil trigger there. Is 12 gold for a book enough to not lose compared to 8 gold for other stuff? Yeah, I don't know. It's really tough to call. I think we reserve the book and go for it in a later round and hope that we actually make it to that. <laughs> Now the question is, do we take this... No so we get the, that nearly maxed out. Now the question is, do we take these boots or do we re-roll into something else? I'm thinking the boots aren't quite strong enough. They do... Yeah, they trigger off the potions, but... It doesn't... They don't give a lot. Cheap blind is good. Another amethyst is worth. Maybe don't combine, though. Can I... Do this? Yes. Faster blood thorns. Okay, we'll go with that. Oh, cross fingers, it's enough. There are some pretty strong builds at this point we could come up against. Oh, a lightsaber is a little different, actually. It'll be interesting to see how this goes now. It's 10 blind, 15 to 19. That's not nearly as powerful as it was. They only have, it looks like, 15 crit as well. So that's not nearly as scary as it once was. 
Yeah, look at all that regen that they have. Like, they've actually gone like pretty overboard on the regen. <laughs> that is, that's less bursty than we are. They do, uh, it, they are like a little bit more permanent now. Good thing is our blood goobit has 100% um, accuracy. Also 100% crit chance. <laughs> Look at that crit, eh? It's pretty good. Mate, that looked pretty good. Oh my lord. So we know for sure blood goobit was critting now. 132 and 300 for Bloodthorn. Mate. 48 and regen 53 because of the scaling from the ruby. 48 crit with goobit, 53 heal. Oh my lord, that's so much healing. I will take the ruby for the extra heal scaling, and we'll take our book. The book is a, a like ever so slightly better activator here than the current, but it doesn't scale our Yggdrasil. But I think I will get it, and we can actually trade one of these off so that we gain a bit of mana instead. That might be worth. Um, do we want this anywhere? Lens a random debuff. We can sell it if we need to. Maybe I'll do a re take a rock and do a reroll. We might be able to get a second rock. No second rock. Mana orb is an option. Let it combine. Yeah, I think you're. I think you're right. We might let it combine. Mana orb is interesting. It gets us our mana up a bit quicker on the second go. There's another book there too. We don't, I don't know that we really have the mana production for the second book. Unless we take the orb. If we take the orb, we should be okay. I'm not sure where it goes, though. Yeah, I think we'd maybe try and get both of those. We might want this as well. Holy shield for the vampiric armor. Yeah, that's the other route. We could take those two and maybe not the book. That might actually be more powerful. Space, it's a bit space hungrier. But I could trade this rock in to get this little extra baggy now. So we're not reserving that. And then that that can go just there. I can do I can just do this for a bit until I get some more bags and put it there. But now though, we will put them here and combine that. Alright. Yeah, I like Mana Orb and the Shield better than the second book. I think the shield does more against builds that are potentially a bit scarier. Our immunity procs basically straight away as they uh, get that initial burst off. It's almost like uh, maybe unnecessary. I get, it lets our armor build up a bit more while we heal that initial bit. Very convincing win, mate. 300 Bloodthorn, 112 Blood Goobit. And the Blood Goobit just doing massive amounts of healing. 44 crit, so that's like 50 heal. We're at 12 Vampirism there. They had a little bit of garlic, two garlics. So garlic is too slow to really... Because people say like vampirism is too weak to garlic. That's only like for a little bit, right? That's only bad vampirism builds. <laughs> only bad vampirism builds are weak against garlic. Um, you just get too much vampirism really for any sort of garlic to keep up. Only if it's like a really drawn out match. Does it start making a difference? Yeah, it does. It does hurt you early in mid game for sure. Uh, it's not a great spot for it, but it might be good enough. One second, let me snooze the ads. I think you like the game Warehouse Wars? You arrange your products in your warehouse and then use them to fight other companies that use their inventory against you. No, that's not a game. <laughs> yo, yo, me, me, that's not a game. That sounds ridiculous. Imagine put it, having some sort of storage container battles. That's just silly. Put away your gem box is? Um, yeah, that might be a little better. How do I do it though? <laughs> I'm not uh, entirely convinced that I can keep the gem box in if I do that. Maybe later, I'll get a bit more bag space. All right, so we picked up a Shield of Valor this round and a uh, Mana Orb. So that'll give us, that should get us, so uh, we consume all the mana instantly because we're producing enough. And then, uh, so it, it's, it actually like, I feel like our Book of Light almost activates too early. It slows down our crit. I don't know. I'm, I'm iffy about the. I'm iffy about the uh, book of line, honestly. Like it really slows down our crit scaling, so we're way less bursty. I think that. Um, 
I think that we can drop the book. I feel like we might actually be better off if we drop the book. Like, just seeing how that plays out. Instead of having a crap load of crit, we get immunity before most builds even attack you. We have so much healing anyway. Another book, that's what we need, yeah. <laughs> More books. <laughs> Another ruby. Blueberries, pretty alright here. Speeds up the carrot a bit and provides a bit more mana scaling. I mean, maybe now that we've got like a bit better. Hmm. Do I put you there, maybe? That's a bit better. Uh, yeah, maybe now that I've got a bit better mana production and another blueberry, it might be okay to keep it. I feel like it almost wouldn't be a mistake to drop it though. What else have we got here? Ooh. Another stone skin would be nice, but it would require significant inventory shuffling to do. Don't know that it's worth it. Not without more bag space. I want this in here, but... Move gym bag over one? Oh, for what? Maybe just put that on the book. Blind. Grab the extra blind for the last little bit here. Ooh, a decently strong looking lightsaber setup. It's a very well stacked lightsaber. We only have seven blinds. The Book of Light removing the blinds here is pretty good. I, I feel glad that we kept it just based on the this one specific matchup. <laughs> Almost any other matchup though. I'm still a little iffy. Although we got back to 10 mana very quickly now. So I think now it's fine, but I think last round it was a detriment. But I don't think last round it helped. Until you really get that mana production ramped. Yeah, I'm not so sure. This is pretty strong, but with us eating away at their blinds, they are getting they're only getting weaker while we get stronger it seems. And, uh, we are certainly getting stronger from lots of things. <laughs> There's our 19 vampirism. Oh, mate. Just beautiful. What an actual build, right? Like, blood goobit build. People, people dismissed the blood goob. It's working in beautiful harmony with the bloodthorn action here. And just so much healing. 78 regen now from a 56 crit. <laughs> 78 heal! That's more than most weapons can crit for. <gasps> oh my god, last round. Last round. I actually am not sure I wanted the combine there, but now yeah, well, it's done now. Um, we don't want that. We're basically pretty much consistently at 100 crits. So I don't think the uh, extra Acon does much for us. We might not really even need that bag space, but... We could probably get rid of the gem box now. Last round. Like, I might roll into a decent gem, but... Nah. I think we basically drop it now. Um, I can grab the... Potion, but it's not... That... Helpful to do so. Yeah. I don't think I'm gonna do that. Well, just... I could just get more regen here, it's honestly pretty good. Healing herbs, fine. The potion would insta proc from the armor, yeah. But is that necessary? Like, I just heal anyway. <laughs> I don't think it actually really does anything. Um, if I... Shuffle some things, can I do this? <laughs> Hold on a second. There we go, a bit faster. Blood goob activations is absolutely what we want. I don't mind, I'll need that now. I could just speed up the berries with some garlic here, and that hurts vampirism opponents. Might be, it's a pretty reasonable thing to do. Take another blind. Call it a day, yo! One sec, let me just snooze so we can enjoy this last round in all of its glory. Uh, I actually have a, uh, a bag here I can still sell. Can I fit the carrot if I do? I think I can. Get an extra carrot, doesn't it? Yeah, we might actually get some empower scaling <laughs> off those carrots. <laughs> Um, we might as well do that. Nice. I prefer this way, maybe. Garlic plus blueberry is not a good flavor combo. Do not recommend. <laughs> I don't know. I kind of beg to differ based on this evidence. 
Not AMC, thanks for the 30 months, mate. Oh, we got a big poison dump. Weirdly positioned death scythes, though. Only hitting two of those flasks. 83 poison. We're immune to the first ticks while we try to start scaling that down. That's a lot of poison. <laughs> That's a lot of poison. We didn't trigger that demonic flask. Although, imagine if we had more stone skin potions and we triggered the demonic flasks without them us having any debuffs yet. Although, it might have just killed us if it depending on the activation order. That would be interesting. Wonder what happens in that situation. Mate, that's a lot of poison. But by the time they get through our armor, I think they might be dead. I think they might just be dead. They're not hopefully not gonna get us down to the 50% life. Oh, oh, we beat a gigantic poison bomb to finish this off. That's brilliant. What a strong finish to a very fun build style. 65 heals of 50%, 50 damage crits there. Nice. They had basically no healing, so we didn't have to do a lot of total damage in the end. But over 10 seconds, we uh, smacked them down, the Bloodthorns and the Blood Goobits. Blood Goobit doesn't put out quite as much damage as the Bloodthorn, obviously, because of the amount of scaling that that thing's getting is nuts here. But uh, you can kind of like treat it as 50% offensive, 50% defensive. Or more like 60-40 maybe because of the health gain scaling is just ridiculous. Like it's so much healing. Like the 17 vampirism is very powerful. Blood goob at healing for 60 though? Every trigger? Just nuts. Just nuts. We got a trigger in pretty fast at the end there too. That's not bad at all. One second there. Uh, the blueberry was 3-5. That was an ideal. 2-6 and 2-7. That's pretty good. Yeah, their scythes... Could have been positioned better, but I think... Which would have pushed them over 100 poison, maybe. But uh, I think that uh, even if they had, I don't think it would have mattered. I don't think we got close enough. Like, we got we got maybe the 80% health at the lowest. Like, that might have pushed us down to, like, 60. I don't know that it would have gotten us to 50 for the finishing blow with the demonic flasks. I think we still might have survived. What a build! I kind of love it. <laughs> Great build. Tully's excited, too. <laughs> Tully's very excited. Excellent. Yo! Big ranger run. I'm liking the new patch a lot, actually. A lot of the changes are pretty interesting.